comparing the sizes of America's tallest skyscrapers. Which one wins? The United States is the birthplace of skyscrapers. In the last century, the majority of the world's skyscrapers were located within the United States. After recent years' global skyscraper construction boom, the number of skyscrapers in the country has been exceeded by some Asian countries, like the United Arab Emirates or China. However, the U.S. is still one of the few countries in this world that possesses the most skyscrapers. As of mid-2022, the U.S. had more than 240 skyscrapers built, or topped out to be over 200 meters, approximately 656 feet. 200 meters is the typical minimum height of a skyscraper, and about 850 buildings beyond 150 meters, about 492 feet, is another most used threshold to define a skyscraper. For super tall skyscrapers, as of mid-2022, the United States has 29 super talls completed, and there are many other super talls under construction or planned across the nation. But just how do the sizes of some of the tallest buildings in the country compare? Let's find out. But before we begin, do us a small favor by clicking on the subscribe icon if you haven't yet done that. Also, give us a like, share the video, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell for timely updates of our latest uploads. Now, let's get it on. One, One Trade Center, New York. One World Trade Center is an important part of the New York City skyline. Otherwise known as 1WTC, the skyscraper is the tallest building in the U.S. Today, 1WTC stands as a symbol of triumph over terror. Formerly known as Freedom Tower, 1WTC occupies the same site as the former World Trade Center towers, which were destroyed on September 11, 2001. This iconic structure is 1,776 feet tall. The number is a symbolic nod to the year America established its independence from British rule in 1776. Opened in 2014, today, the building is at 95% occupancy. 1WTC has 104 floors, 73 elevators, and 3 million square feet worth of office space. There's even an observation deck at 1,268 feet. Almost 425,000 cubic yards of concrete was used to build One World Trade Center. That's enough concrete to build a 5-foot-wide sidewalk from New York City to Washington, D.C., roughly 226.2 miles. The budget stood at a teardropping $3.9 billion. One WTC is considered an iconic glass building named a fortress enveloped in glass by Icon Eye with geometric shapes. The exterior consists of 2,112 insulated laminated Viracon glass windows. The installation process was meticulous and hard. At the 200-foot concrete base, 13-foot pairs of glass fins provide structural support. The concrete used throughout was made from Lafarge cement. Eight isosceles triangles define the building's shape. Meanwhile, the top is a square glass parapet. The building's core sits 110 feet below the base, which houses its mechanical rooms and egress. Since it was classified as America's tallest building, One World Trade Center has been mired in controversy. The problem stems from how a skyscraper's height is defined. A 408-foot tall spire extends from the roof of 1WTC. Without the spire, the building would stand at 1,368 feet. Naysayers claimed that counting the antenna is like counting relish at a hot dog eating contest. Architect David M. Childs of Skidmore designed the tower. The same firm designed Willis Tower in Chicago and the Burj Khalifa in Dubai, the world's tallest building. The structure was built on the 16-acre Ground Zero site. The area includes a September 11 memorial memorial and museum. A mall and two office buildings, including the Oculus Transportation Hub, are included in the area. The rebuilt Greek Orthodox Church and a performing arts center were slated to open this year. Future plans include a residential tower and more office buildings. 2. Central Park Tower, New York Central Park Tower is an iconic skyscraper located in the heart of New York City that has become a prominent landmark in the Manhattan skyline. This architectural marvel offers a unique blend of luxury living, breathtaking views, and world class amenities. Its rich history and distinctive features make it a prominent attraction for residents and visitors alike. The history of Central Park Tower is a fascinating journey that encompasses the construction and development of this architectural marvel. The architectural design of Central Park Tower is modern and elegant. It has a sleek glass facade and impressive height. The design focuses on maximizing views of Central Park and the surrounding city skyline. One notable feature is the strategic placement of large windows throughout the building. These windows allow for natural light and panoramic views of Central Park. The design also includes terraces and balconies for residents to enjoy. It is safe to say the design prioritized functionality and efficiency. The height and size of the building make it an impressive feat of engineering and architecture. 
It stands at a staggering height of 1,550 feet, making it the second tallest residential building in the United States. The tower has 131 floors, offering expansive living spaces and breathtaking views of the surrounding cityscape. Central Park Tower is also remarkable in terms of size. Spanning over 1.2 million square feet, it accommodates luxurious residential units, high-end retail spaces, and top-notch amenities. With its grandeur and elegance, the tower epitomizes luxury living in the heart of New York City. Construction of the tower began in 2014 and was completed in 2020. The architectural design was led by Adrian Smith and Gordon Gill Architecture, aiming to create a timeless and iconic structure that blends seamlessly with the city's skyline. And they they succeeded. 3. Willis Tower, Chicago Willis Tower, formerly known as the Sears Tower, is an iconic skyscraper located in Chicago, Illinois. With its impressive architecture, rich history, and unparalleled views, Willis Tower has become a must-visit landmark in America. The construction and design of the Willis Tower showcase impressive engineering and architecture. It was built in the late 1960s and early 1970s, taking about three years to complete. Architect Bruce Graham and structural engineer Fazler Ram Khan from Skidmore Owings and Merrill designed the tower. The tower stands at 1,450 feet, making it one of the world's tallest buildings and third tallest in the U.S. Its black aluminum and bronze-tinted glass exterior gives it a sleek and modern appearance. Inside, it features state-of-the-art facilities like high-speed elevators and advanced HVAC systems. The design of the tower was ahead of its time in terms of sustainability. It included energy-efficient features like efficient lighting systems. The construction and design of the Willis Tower were groundbreaking setting a new standard for skyscrapers globally. The observation deck at Willis Tower provides stunning views of the city and are a popular attraction for visitors. The sky deck, located on the 103rd floor, offers panoramic views of Chicago and beyond. Visitors can see up to four states on a clear day. The ledge is a unique feature of the sky deck that allows visitors to step out onto glass boxes, extending 4.3 feet from the building. This thrilling experience gives a feeling of floating above the city. All in all, the tower's impact on Chicago is un undeniable. From its economic influence to its role in fostering tourism and community engagement, the building stands as a testament to the city's growth and ambition. 4. 111 West 57th Street, New York the world's skinniest skyscraper gloriously embraces the rich legacy of Manhattan's historic skyline, but it also raises awkward questions about sustainability and affordable housing. The super-tall luxury tower has a width-to-height ratio of about 1 to 24. It stands at 1,428 feet. The widest point at the building's base is roughly 57 feet wide. It is also called the Steinway Tower. Situated on Billionaire's Row, Steinway Tower offers 60 residential units. The main tower holds 46, and the other 14 are in the original Steinway Hall building. The building's 14 elevators offer fast access to each residential unit. The original Steinway Hall has five elevators, while the new tower has nine. The basement and floors one, three, and four are commercial spaces. Also, the 51st, 71st, and 86th floors were designed as windbreaks and therefore do not contain residential units. The original Steinway building remains a city landmark. Situated at the base of 111 West 57th Street in New York City, it served as the iconic piano company's store for more than 90 years. But with a name like Billionaire's Row, how could residential units be anything but expensive? It's not surprising that you won't find affordable housing or Airbnb listings on this row. Units start at $7.75 million for a studio and run upwards of $66 million for the 111 West 57th Street penthouse. Do you have some cash to splash away? If you do, you know where to go. 5. One Vanderbilt, New York One Vanderbilt is a skyscraper in New York City with an impressive height and impressive dimensions. It is currently the fourth tallest building in the city and fifth overall in the U.S., standing at 1,401 feet. The building comprises 73 floors and spans an area between 1.7 million square feet to 1.8 million square feet. It houses various offices, retail spaces, dining options, and an observation deck. It is also important to remember that this building has the largest glass elevators in the world. Called Ascent, the glass elevators allow you to go up another 120 feet from the terrace and top the already sensational view. You'll be 1,210 feet above 42nd Street. They can carry up to 4.5 tons. That's the weight of three yellow cabs. And although one Vanderbilt is such a tall building, it looks very elegant. The main reason for this is the facade. It is made up of huge glass panels and terracotta, which include the same distinctive ceiling tiles found throughout Grand Central Terminal. 
thus new and old meet harmoniously. And there you have it, the top 5 tallest buildings in the US. Have you visited any of them? If you haven't, which one would you want to visit? Let us know in the comments section below. Also, remember to subscribe, like, and share, not forgetting to turn on the notification bell for timely updates of our latest uploads. That's it from us today, until next time, thank you for watching.